Minecraft prisons have been on Minecraft from the very start. It has involved Minecraft prison mods, challenges, tutorials and legit prisons on Minecraft SMPs. This is Minecraft's history of prisons. Before we start, if you could subscribe and join my Discord, it would mean the world to me. Enjoy! 2013 was the start of Minecraft Prisons, as the YouTuber Sky Does Minecraft had his amazing series Cops and Robbers. If you didn't watch this series, then you missed out. Your childhood must have been so bad. Also, I've been to so many prisons in my time, so I think I'm the best man for the job for this video. It's kind of a joke, but maybe not. The theme for Cops and Robbers was Sky and his friends play in the prison map where there is one guard and a few prisoners and they have to do whatever the prison guard says but they got to try and escape the prison. To escape the prison you need to stand on a pressure plate in the warden's office so you can use the other pressure plate to escape up the stairs and out the back of the prison. These videos were so fun to watch at the time and probably good to watch now. I would say go back and watch them up. I bet you enjoy them because it's just a group of friends having fun on a prison map. They would also add mods into it just to make the videos more interesting and enjoyable to watch which was pretty smart as it did keep the growth up for a lot longer. This scene the rise of Sky does Minecraft and the rise of Minecraft prisons. This series would go on for a while but like everything would get boring and repetitive but this was only the start for Minecraft prisons. <laughs> Uh, yeah. uh, no, 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 2014 was when prison servers started to come about. This would see the increase in Minecraft YouTubers on prison servers, such as Ali A. Which he was one of the biggest Minecraft YouTubers at the time. This meant more viewers and more Minecraft players onto prison servers. The prison servers were normally all similar as you would spawn and have your own cell also, there would be like a PvP area and places where you could gather ores, trees and food that you can get them and then sell them to the auction house or to whatever NPC you would find and then work your way up different ranks and leveling up and as you get better ranks and leveling up even more, you will then get better access to a lot of better items and become OP on the server. The main attraction was that grind aspect, leveling up and ranking up would give you a goal that you would want to achieve and when you achieved it then you would feel kind of fulfilled but you also had a chance to interact with your favourite Minecraft YouTubers such as Ali A, Vickstar123 and Mr Waffles but these were just some of the biggest creators, there were a lot more littler creators bringing more eyes to Minecraft prison servers. So it's safe to say Minecraft prison servers were pretty highly viewed on YouTube which meant more demand and more people playing on these servers. We skipped some of the years as those years were just pretty much the same repetitive stuff and Minecraft was kind of dying at the time so it kind of faded out and people stopped wanting prison servers until 2017. But now in 2017 we see prison adventure maps as one of the biggest YouTubers Preston Plays done one that gained 3 million views and this brought a different light to prisons on Minecraft as you could use them on your own or with friends and try to escape them and it also had kind of a storyline that you could follow along with and get invested in. Personally I'd say this would create some entertaining content and at the time Minecraft was kind of dying so Preston to get 3 million views showed that this new prison style definitely worked and I know you'd say Preston yeah he was a big YouTuber at the time so he was gonna get them views but 3 million it's got to be a good video or it's got to have a good style to actually get them views. These adventure style maps would use little tricks such as having villagers acting as people using pig men as guards as they can always be wanting to attack you and once you fail like a parkour scene 
then they will just kill you and then you'll respawn and then try it again. All these little things they added made the maps a lot funner to watch and a lot funner for the YouTuber. As if they're having fun, it makes the video a lot better. So I think this is what made prison adventure maps a lot better and a lot more viewed on YouTube, especially for Preston. What can the diamond pickaxe mine? Oh, it can mine these blocks. That makes so much sense. All right, Frank, what's going on, man? Oh, Frank! 2018 is where I seen one of the first Minecraft prisons made for an SMP. There might have been some before this, but I couldn't find them and this was one of the most popular ones, so I thought I'd share it with you. Mini Bean 75 made this prison on a bedrock version of Minecraft and showed his amazing building talents as we see a pretty accurate version of a real life prison and I think this is why it got so many views as he gave us a tour of his massive prison and how realistic it was. But if this prison was on a Minecraft SMP then it wouldn't work as it's too easy to break out of but I don't think it was meant for that, I think it was just meant for locks and not much else. But this was the beginning of something massive to come for Minecraft prisons. What is up guys, Minibean75 here and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This guys is going to be in my Minecraft Maximum Security Prison. 2019 is where we seen Magma make a tutorial video of creating a cell and it would gain a lot of attraction, over 1 million views, yes 1 million views. This would kickstart people to make their own prison cells and create their own fully working prison. This cell was very simple but it shows that prisons were in demand and the future for them were very bright. It was weird that we hadn't seen a prison on the SMP but at the time there weren't many SMPs also, a prison would only mainly be used for a role playing SMP, so a prison on a normal Minecraft server wouldn't really work until 2020. <laughs> 2020 was huge for Minecraft prisons, as we first see FitMC and the 2B2 community make a labyrinth which is similar to a lot of the prisons we see today. This was built to have the most amount of 2v2 players in one area at the same time, which they achieved this and broke the world record, which if you don't know about 2v2t then let me explain. 2v2t is an anarchy server and what they normally do is kill each other, so trapping 50 plus players in a small room shouldn't go well, but this did. The labyrinth was full of obsidian and had 5 elder guardians to stop people from breaking out. So I think we can say FitMC and his team completed their task and showed a design that people would use for their own prisons. Oh and look at that, the chaos has already started, people trying to kill each other. Well, we did what we could. We are still in 2020 and this is where people got more inspired to create inescapable cells. Mumbo Jumbo created an inescapable vault which a lot of people use vault to name their prison so you can kind of see where I'm coming from. Mumbo made his vault out of bedrock and a whole void underneath that vault so if you got no blocks you're pretty much dead. But I can say that this wouldn't keep people out as it's made of glass but Mumbo did not use this to keep people out. Well, he kinda did, but he used it just for people not to steal his valuable items. And if they were gonna, they'd have to put a lot of effort into it. Which, he probably couldn't because it's made of bedrock, so yeah. Oh, should open upon the bridge reaching this bedrock pillar. So there is that, and inside this chest, we have got the things that we are trying to keep incredibly secret. The final part of 2020 is Pandora's Vault. You know, that dream SMP prison? Yeah, that one. This was the start of all the prisons that you see on YouTube today. Pandora's Vault was made by Dream and Awesome Dude, and has layers of obsidian, lava and water. It also has elder guardians and to get into the prison you need to go through specific nether portals and only when Sam lets you, which is kinda cool. This prison was designed to keep someone in a cell, dream, and keep people from breaking in, which at the minute that hasn't happened yet so Sam has kinda done a good job. Although Tommy and it did die and come back to life, it wasn't really Sam's fault so I think we can just skip over that. Well, we shouldn't really, someone died. Yeah, yeah, okay, we'll skip over that. Pandora's Vault has paved the way for the other prisons. It does have its own faults, but I think that is amazing as people would get inspired to create their own better prison. 
And that's kind of what we see in, in 2021. <laughs> see? Face forward. His name is Tivil's on Mike. 2021, the present time, is where everything changes. We see two insane prisons made by the same person, and it's not just the outside that is impressive. No, the inside is also very well done and very well constructed. So let's start with Poseidon's Vault. This prison is named after a Greek god, of course you kinda know who he is, and also looks beautiful. There's no other word for it, just wow. This prison has six layers of water, lava and obsidian, six elder guardians and a cell wall that regenerates after you break one block, so it's safe to assume that this is inescapable. Wrong, you can even escape this. There are many ways you can escape this prison, with a team and also on your own, but this prison on an SMP would be so hard to escape as if there were guards all around the clock then I don't know if you could escape, there's a very slim chance anyway. These two prisons were made by Seven, and he has done a great job at making it hard to escape with also looking so good, so I just want to say well done to Seven. It will take you a bit over an hour, but since the cell is underwater, it will take you four times that long. So four hours to break a single cobblestone, that will then be replaced in one second. Finally, the newest addition to the Greek gods prison family, Hades Vault. This prison looks like you're going to hell, so if you even step foot into it, you die. Uh, well, this is a joke, just, yeah, it, it could happen though. This prison has again six layers of water, lava and obsidian, but Hades Vault has 60 elder guardians, which you would say that's a bit much, right? but this is used to give you minor fatigue every single second. There is a way you can manipulate it and be able to not get the minor fatigue, but the idea is there and it's still hard to get rid of that minor fatigue. It's similar to Poseidon's Vault, but it has a bit more details added to it, such as a guard alarm, which if activated, the prison goes into lockdown, and then there is no escape. Now this is inescapable, Wrong again, people have escaped this on their own and also with a team, which is insane. I'm not going to get into it in this video, but it's insane to think that people can just escape any prison on Minecraft. There are other prisons out there, but these are the ones that got the most attention and are really well done. But I gotta say, Raiseworks Cell is amazing, but it's not a prison, so I didn't want to include it in this video and talk more in depth in this video. And if that cell is added into some prisons, then it could be impossible to escape on your own anyway. To round it off, I got to say, anything mentioned in this video is leading up to these insane prisons. Every single prison, Pandora's Vault, Poseidon's Vault and Hades Vault, they're all insane. Now we come to escape plans that require outside help. What about breaking in with milk? No, that won't work because mining fatigue is applied way too often. This is Minecraft's history of prisons. Which prison is your favourite? Leave it in the comments. Subscribe for the rubber ducky and watch one of these videos on screen as I think you might enjoy it. Thanks for watching.